In order to make a resourceful bee's resource bee forcibly mutate a block, you will need the bee itself, in this case it is a gold bee, a hive of any tier or an apiary. You will need its pollination block, in this case for a gold bee, its flower block is a block of gold, and the block that you're trying to mutate, which in this case is a block of netherite. The bee is currently inside of the hive doing its thing, and what most people have trouble with is that the bee will leave the hive, will grab pollen from the gold, and then immediately return back to the hive without transforming the block of netherite. And so as soon as the bee leaves, you just place a transparent block like glass over it. It has to be transparent. This will make the bee unable to go back in, but it will still see through the glass that its hive is there. So while it's simply wandering, waiting for a block to be destroyed like this glass block to get back in, it will pollinate our block of netherite because it has nothing better to do. And so if we just sit here, we can see that instead of going back into the hive, over time, this guy will turn this block of netherite either into cobblestone or the egg, just like that. And the reason why he did this in one go uh, is, well, for one, because we're lucky and we got the 20% drop on the netherite bee, but the other reason is because we put this block of glass here, which made it unable to go back in. We can then break this glass and he'll just fly back in and keep pollinating and creating more uh, gold drops for you. But that is how you forcibly make a bee do a block mutation if it just does not want to.